video or if this is your first video of mine hi thank you so much for watching um, today's video is going to be my top 10 um, favorite farmhouse decor items from Amazon if this is your first video of mine you may not know but I just moved into my house maybe like two months ago so we're kind of in the transition of you know decorating everything and getting everything situated initially I was gonna try and do like pops of color like super girly and feminine but the heart wants what the heart wants and that's farmhouse decor. So I just caught myself buying pieces from Amazon that just suit the farmhouse decor. So I know this is super, super trendy and I know farmhouse and just decor in general, anything for the home can get pricey. So I personally like to find a good deal and Amazon is literally the best. You, I feel like you just get your bang for your buck there. You always find something that just literally suits what you want. If you want to see my Amazon farmhouse decor finds, then just go ahead and keep on watching. So the easiest way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to talk about them and I'm going to have like an overview clip of what they are in my home and how I style them. The first item that I'm going to share with you is my bar stools. And I believe that the brand is called Nathan James and they do have two different sizes. They have a 24 inch and a 29 inch. I do have a 29 inch because I felt like the 24 was just too small. And I did end up getting a gray, um, it's a gray seat with white legs. This just worked out perfectly. As you can see, my house is very gray and white. That's just kind of like the vibe that both me and my husband really like. So I really needed something to match that kind of decor, but I couldn't find anything that I really liked. And because the kitchen is so gray and white, this is what I wanted. I tried finding bar stools on um, Overstock, Wayfair, you know, all of the home decor places and I just couldn't find what I wanted. And I found these from Amazon and these are literally the dream, like the perfect dream bar stool that I needed for my um, countertop. So I'm so, so excited that I found them. They are very inexpensive. Um, I think they're less than $70 each. And if you know anything about bar stools, they can get very, very pricey. So I thought this was a good deal, so I just went ahead and picked these up, and I just love the way that they look in my kitchen. Okay, so the next item that I have to share with you is strictly just for decor purposes. It's still a vision of mine, and I'm still working out that vision, but I do have it hung up already, and it is this gorgeous steel dinner bell, and I just absolutely love it. It just adds some character. What I actually want to get is a little sign that says dinner's ready. And I think that'd be really, really cute. I'm still trying to find like the perfect metal distress antique looking sign. I'm going to have to get it custom made because my visions are out there guys. <laughs> um, but yes, I do love this dinner bell. Um, I believe it was less than $20 on Amazon and it is amazing it's super super good quality it feels rustic it feels old and it's like the really cool thing about it and i love it so much so definitely a cool find that i found on amazon they have a ton of different dinner bells like they have the triangle bell but i really just wanted something that looks super old and like something that would look outside the next item that i'm going to share with you are these bead garlands i got them in a set of four from amazon obviously for I don't know, $12, which is amazing. If you go to Hobby Lobby or Michaels or any store like that, you're not going to find bead garlands for less than $4 each. Like, it's just not going to happen. So the fact that I was able to get four for $12 to me was an absolute steal. They have different ones. They have just like a tassel one where I put it on my... Um, my kitchen rack, I have a couple of like long beaded garlands, one I have on my mug rack and one I have in my little hutch displaying my Ray Dunn. And then I have another one um, where it's just like completely beaded with a little loop and I have that over one of my Ray Dunn birdhouses. And I just absolutely love them. They're so cute. They add a little like something something because sometimes decor can get a little bland so this just adds a little touch of um, farmhouse to it and I really like it again super super inexpensive from Amazon and just a really good find altogether. the next decor piece that I'm going to share with you is this little lint bucket holder um, I found this from Amazon because I am going to be doing my um, laundry room and I wanted I was on Pinterest and I saw like a lint holder and I was like oh my gosh that is so cute it's super like metal rustic looking and I want something like that so of course my first 
thought process is I'm gonna go to Amazon. That's literally my thought process for everything. So I went to Amazon and I searched like lint holder and a ton came up and this is just one that I love. I love white with black. I love white as a primary color and then black accents, that's just me. And this one is so cute, so adorable. You do have the option of either hanging it on the wall or it has um, magnets on the back so you can just stick it to your washer or dryer. And I just think it is the cutest thing ever. Initially I wanted to hang it but um, I don't know, I like the way that it looks on my washer. I'm not gonna put it on my dryer because the front side of my dryer obviously is plastic so it's not gonna stick to there. And I just wanna be able to showcase it a little bit so it's gonna stay on my washer. But I just love it, it is so cute. Maybe eventually I'll hang it, I'm not too sure. I still have to figure out what I'm gonna do with my um, laundry room, but I just think this is such a cute little piece. I think it was $22, so it was kind of, I wouldn't say it's super expensive, but it definitely has a couple of dollars on there. But I love this. It is so cute, super farmhousey, and I just think that it's just gonna go great in my laundry room. Okay, so the next thing that I did get is for my mug rack, and you already saw it when I showed the clips of the farmhouse beads, and that is this eucalyptus garland. I do need some greenery in the house. That's very farmhouse style, just adding greenery. That's like the basic phrase, just add greenery. And um, I think this one was like, $10 on Amazon and there was like a 5% off coupon. Seriously, like the 5% off coupons, there's so many of them. So if you see a decent one, I always check the reviews to uh, make sure that it's the color that I want because it's just not, I don't know. You just have to make sure that it's just exactly what you want. I like the right shade of green. And this one just met all of my checklists. It's perfect. It's like the perfect shade of green. It's the perfect length and for $10 with a 5% off coupon. Yes, please. And I just think it looks so good on my mug rack. It just adds a little oomph because I just didn't want just a plain old mug rack on my wall. I just, just think it adds so much character and I absolutely love this. The next thing that I'm gonna share with you are my wood shelves that I got from Amazon. And this is in my downstairs half bath. And you guys, I had the hardest time finding floating shelves that I really wanted from, um, the internet. I, I couldn't find them anywhere. I couldn't find them from Overstock, couldn't find them from Wayfair, couldn't find them Target, Walmart. I literally could not find them anywhere. I had a vision. If you, I already said it before, I love white with black. That's just my thing. I could not find floating shelves for the life of me and I was very picky with what I wanted. I didn't want just like the regular L brackets. I didn't want that. I wanted industrial piping and it almost got to the point where I couldn't find anything that I really wanted that I almost just made them my own. Like I started going on Pinterest on like DIY industrial shelves just so I can just make my own vision. But I finally found the perfect ones from Amazon and it's these ones. They are a white wash so they're not like a full on white which I'm I'm okay with. Initially, I just wanted like a flat white, but with the farmhouse decor, it does need to be a little distressed in my opinion. So I, after getting these up, I was super, super happy about them. I think that they were around $30. They could be less than $30 and they were, I love these. They were kind of tricky hanging up. Me and my husband, we are first time homeowners. We've never really hung anything up before. Uh, I know I'm such a millennial, huh? I'm almost 30 and I don't know how to hang floating shelves. So this has all been a huge process, but it was kind of tricky because with the um, the back part of the pipe shelving, there was three little holes. So you just had to make sure that they were even and it was kind of a process and it didn't come with instructions. So it was just kind of like, oh, hope you figure it out. But if we could do it, I swear anybody can do it. And I just love how this turned out, especially my half bath. I just love the way that they look and I just think they're perfect. So actually to go along in my bathroom, I have a couple of um, farmhouse, I wouldn't say that they're farmhouse, but they're bathroom humor signs, but they are kind of farmhousey. They have like the scripted writing and the way that I put them in my bathroom, I think that they kind of go with the farmhouse style and it just adds a little sense of humor in the bathroom. Because it's in my downstairs bathroom, you know, guests are gonna be using it. So I did wanna make sure that I wanna, like my, my guests to feel comfortable and they get a good laugh whenever they have to use the bathroom. So I love these. It came in a four pack from Amazon. I think it was like less than $6 and it's it was just the, the 
the prints, but I love them. They're so cute. There's like, please wait to be seated. Enjoy your poop, which is actually going to go on like our master because I always tell my husband that. Um, wash your hands, you filthy animal. And there's one more. I just can't think of it at the top of my head. But um, I just love these. They just add a sense of character to the bathroom. And I just think that as, as long as you can style them well, they can be used as farmhouse decor. The next item that I'm going to share with you are these faux Real Touch tulips. I absolutely love them. I believe they were a 12 pack for around $12, maybe a little less. So very inexpensive. And the quality is just absolutely amazing. I have them styled with a lot of my Ray Dunn, which can be easily incorporated with farmhouse support. And I just absolutely love them. I think they're such a good find. I know that some like Etsy sellers sell them for like $18 and I'm pretty sure that they just buy them from Amazon and resell them like 100%. These things are absolutely amazing. They come in a ton of different colors. I just got white because we've already discussed my obsession with the white. They have yellow, pink. I'm pretty sure that there's like a beautiful meringue, like orange color. There's so many different colors and whatever you're using like if you if you need just like floral decor to go with any any of your little uh, displays this is just such a good idea and such a really inexpensive find and i just absolutely love them so the next things that we're getting to are both buffalo check and these are the last and final things as well as you may know buffalo check is super super big in farmhouse decor and i just kind of pass it up because i just love the way that most people style them so the first thing i'm going to share with you is my rug and it is my outdoor rug it's actually underneath my doormat because this whole like layered doormat thing is so cute guys i love it so I love the buff Buffalo check. I did get this from Amazon. I believe it was like $15, maybe less. I could be wrong, but there's so many different options on Amazon. They're super inexpensive, great quality, perfect size, not too big. And I just love it. I love the layered look for, you know, the front door entrance. It's just so freaking cute. And I know you can buy something like this at Kirkland's, but they're like $20 and you know me, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a bargain hunter. So I love finding things on a bargain and just going to Amazon is just my go-to to find pieces that I really want and for, I don't know, five to $10 cheaper. So I love this from Amazon. It is amazing, I highly suggest. And my last and final item that I have to share with you are these Buffalo Check pillows. My girl Hoppa, she loves to mess with them and lay on one of them, but these are not actually pillows, they're pillow covers, which I realize is so much more convenient than actually having pillows because then you can just switch them out and pillow covers are so much cheaper than just buying a ton of pillows and they're a lot easier to store. So I did purchase these, these are 18 by 18. It came in a two pack and they were less than $11. So they are amazing quality, super, super thick not like soft they feel almost like a like a woven quilted material um which is good because i feel like they're not going to they, they're going to hold up in quality like i said the quality is amazing they are absolutely stunning the only the only thing that i'm not 100 percent like in love with about these ones are the white it's more of like an ivory white not like a stark white i love white but um they still work really well i love the way that um they they look i was trying to find like a pink buffalo check but pink is very hard to find i want i want to try and add some sort of color to the house but like keep it farmhousey and i'm thinking oh pink would be cute but pink is like almost nearly impossible to find so i did settle with the black but i am not mad about it at all i think it looks amazing again amazing quality amazing price and i definitely suggest Okay guys, and that is everything that I have to share with you. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you're interested at all in any of the items, my Amazon storefront will be in my description box below. You can go ahead and click that and then it will be under like farmhouse decor finds, something along those lines. I'm gonna have everything linked there so it's easily accessible to you. If you wanted to shop the links, I do get like a small percentage, but you don't have to. It's just more for your convenience. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have yet to subscribe to my channel, please go ahead and do so. I post a lot of home decor style videos on my channel, and I would just absolutely love it if you would be a part of my YouTube family. Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.